Infinity Lookup for Dynamics 365 allows you to turn any many-to-many -many relationship into a fully functioning multi-lookup. As well as having all the benefits of a normal many-to-many -many relationship, our Infinity Lookup also has all the benefits of a standard lookup field as well, giving us the best of both worlds. Here we have an account where we've added two sample Infinity Lookup controls. We have this markets control and also this stakeholders control. Behind the scenes, we can also see those many-to-many -many relationships displayed here as both this markets and stakeholders subgrid. The Infinity Lookup controls fit right in with your other Dynamics 365 fields, as you can see next to this single select lookup here. Your users won't need to learn anything new to use these controls, as the functionality closely matches standard lookups. Just like single select lookups, you can click into them and search for values, and it'll automatically filter your results, and then you can select those to add them to the control. You can also remove values just by clicking on the X next to the value, or clicking through to those to open up those records. We can also see the color scheme matches your Dynamics 365 themes, and icons are also coming through from those custom tables and also any out of the box tables like contact here. If a user has the security to do so, they can also create new records directly from the drop down when searching for records as well. So if you're searching for a contact, and if you don't find any records, provided the user has the ability to create contacts, they can click on this button which will automatically pop open the quick create, and you'll see it automatically pulls through with the name and account that we're currently linked to. So we can move these into the correct fields, and then simply save and close. Once we save and close that, it'll automatically add the contact into our Infinity Lookup control. Security roles are also taken into consideration when using the control, so if a user doesn't have access to the entity behind this control at all, then they'll just see a disabled control and they won't be able to read or select any of the values. Also, when picking values from the dropdown, if the users only have access to, for example, their own records, then they'll only be able to pick and select those records from here as well. Changes to the lookup values are treated just like any other fields, so they won't be saved until the form is saved. This gives users more control over the changes being made without things unexpectedly being saved behind the scenes, like with subgrids. So any changes we make here, say we add one value and remove another value, you'll see that those show as unsaved changes until we're ready to commit those changes. And once we click save, that will actually go and save those values. And we can see once we switch over to the subgrid, you can see those values updating in the subgrid. We can also use our Infinity Lookup controls on create forms. So when we create a new account record, for example, you can see that these fields are available and we can pick those records just like we can any other lookup value. Even though this record hasn't actually been saved yet, we can come in here and enter some values. And once that gets saved, uh, those will push through into that many-to-many -many field as well. And you'll see those now showing up against the record. And because this is just like a standard lookup control, we can make it required. So you would have seen before when we were setting up that new record, and if, even if we remove these values, it'll tell us that this is a required field. So it won't let us save now, as there's no uh, markets that have been selected. So it's treated just like a standard field. You can set requirement levels, you can write business rules and things to disable those fields. Basically anything you can do with a standard field, you can do with these controls. The controls are super easy to set up. All you need is your many-to-many -many relationship and a text field to bind that control to, just like we've got here with the markets and the stakeholders. Because that binds to a text field, if we go into our accounts view, you can see that we can display those fields in a view. So we've got our markets field here, and that's the same field that we just saw on our form. So you can see a comma separated list of all of the values that have been selected from that relationship. You can also customize the look and feel of the search results. So for example, our markets, we just have the name of the market being displayed. But for the stakeholders, because it's a contact, we are showing a little bit more information, including the company name and also the email address of the individual. And we can show as many different fields there in those additional search parameters. We can also specify some custom filters. So for example, if we only want to be able to select contacts that are owned by the current user, or context of a specific type, like stakeholder, then we can put those filters in there as well, so it's not just picking from all contacts. For more information about Infinity Lookup for Dynamics 365, or to start your free trial, please get in contact with us today.